মানুষ বড় কাঁদছে মানুষ হয়ে মানুষের পাশে দাঁড়াও এই বক্তব্যই যেন প্রত্যেকটা মুহূর্তে আমাদের মানুষ হতে সাহায্য করে মান এবং হুঁশ নিয়ে মানুষের পাশে দাঁড়ানোই মূল কথা সেই জন্য দরকার সমাজের কথা ভাবা তাই সমাজ কর্মী হিসেবে নিরন্তর কাজ করে চলেছেন বেশ কিছু মানুষ যুক্তরাজ্যে বসে থেকেও যারা সমাজকর্মীরা কিভাবে কাজ করবেন সেই নিয়ে ভাবনা চিন্তা করছেন তার মধ্যে অন্যতম হচ্ছেন প্রফেসর মার্ক দোয়েল ইউকেতে তিনি সমাজকর্মীদের নিয়ে কাজ করে চলেছেন কমিউনিটি ভিত্তিক এবং দীর্ঘ কুড়ি বছর ধরে চলছে এই কাজ কি করে সমাজকর্মীরা আরও ভালো কাজ করতে পারবে তাদের শিক্ষা তাদের প্রশিক্ষণ সব কিছু নিয়ে গবেষণা করতে ভারতে আসেন প্রফেসর মার্ক দোয়েল সাইন টিভির একান্ত সাক্ষাৎকারে তিনি আমাদের প্রতিনিধি দীপক দেখে এই বিষয়টি বলেছেন আজ দেখাবো আপনাদের আমরা প্রত্যেকেই কিছু না কিছু সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্ক করে থাকি কিন্তু আজকে আমরা সাইনের পদ্মায় আপনাদের এমন একজন ব্যক্তিত্বের সঙ্গে আলাপ করাতে চলেছি যিনি সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্কের একজন শিক্ষক বা শিক্ষা গুরু বলতে পারেন ইনি হলেন মার্ক টুয়েল ইনি সুদূর ইংল্যান্ড থেকে আমাদের ভারতবর্ষে এসেছেন তিনি তার মূল্যবান সময় আমাদের দিয়েছেন এজন্য মার্ক ডুয়েলকে অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ জানাই যে উনি আমাদের অত্যন্ত মূল্যবান সময় আমাদের দিয়েছে এই সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্ক কি বা সোশ্যাল অ্যাক্টিভিটি কিভাবে করতে হয় সেই সম্পর্কে আমরা মার্ক ডুয়েলের কাছ থেকে অনেক কিছু আজকে জেনে নেব উনি সেফার্ড হালাম ইউনিভার্সিটির এক অধ্যাপক উনি এই সোশ্যাল কাজকর্ম সম্পর্কে যতটা জানে বিগত কুড়ি বছর ধরে উনি এই বিষয়ে কাজ করে চলে এসেছে আজ তারই মুখ থেকে আমরা শুনে নেব যে সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্ক কিভাবে করতে হয় ওয়েলকাম স্যার ওয়েলকাম টু দ্য ইন্ডিয়া নমস্তে স্যার মাই ফার্স্ট কোশ্চেন হোয়াট কাইন্ড অফ ওয়ার্ক ইউ ডু Thank you for inviting me. It's uh, very nice to be here. I'm a social worker. That's my profession. Um, I was a full-time social worker. I've retired from that, but now I do voluntary social work um, in the community in Sheffield, which involves me in a local festival and in local politics, because my politics are very important to me, um, but also internationally in group work. I was vice president of an international association for social work with groups and I'm still involved in that as well. Uh what kind of politics you prefer? Uh I'm a socialist, um a democratic socialist. I've uh, been a member of the Labour Party um since 1984 when there was a miners strike in England. Um there is a socialist workers party that might be a very small socialist party but uh, in england uh, the parties people who think on the left and progressive politics have come together over many decades now within the labor party and so within the labor party i am on the socialist side of that as a social worker i always thought it was really important uh, that my politics were part of my social work so that although i worked m- mainly with individuals and families in the community i was always very um mindful thinking about the fact that social problems are also about social policies and that poverty and mental ill health they're all related to people's economic status and that a healthy society is one in which there is more equality Uh, and that is part of my social work belief and that's why i'm a socialist what is the difference between uk social structure and indian social structure um well you say england not a socialist country we have had socialist governments we've had labor governments um but by and large you're, you're right we are a capitalist country um i think the one of the biggest differences i imagine is that uh United Kingdom is a developed country post industrial whereas India is de- developing and so we have a lot more wealth as a nation but for me the important thing is not the size of the cake uh, but the way in which the cake is divided between the people in the society and our society my british society although it's very wealthy it's very unequal so a very small percentage of the people 
the elite take a large slice of the cake. So for me, our problems are actually very similar. Uh, I think some politicians on the right like to speak about nations because that helps them to be divisive. They call it being patriotic, but actually they're being divisive. And actually the workers and poorer people in India have as much in common with the workers and the poorer people in the United K Kingdom. Um, they have more in common with them than they do with the elite. So, yes, we are a wealthier society, but in common with India, we have great um, expanse between the very wealthy and the very poor. Okay, sir. Uh, you write a book, uh, 42 Object, uh, Social Work in 42 Object, about, say, this. Yes. Um, yes, I, I've been in social work a long time, and I've also been teaching social work as a professor. And I, I found it difficult to explain to people what social work is without getting into long sentences. And so I wanted to find a different way to express social work. And I um, thought that one way to do this would be through objects. Which kind of object? Ah, that, that's a good question. Uh, lots of different kinds of objects. For instance, um, one object that was proposed to the project was a Chinese bowl and um, the man that proposed it, he's a social worker, he's a Chinese Malay living in Scotland. Okay. So he has a very mixed heritage and he says the bowl reminds him of social work's diversity but also of the uh, what it feels like to be a new person in a new in a different and established community. Um, so he tells a story about the bowl and it being in his family and it reflects many of social work's values. So um, one more example. Um, I thought when I asked people to propose an object. It would be something like the bowl that you could lift and put in your hands. Uh, one woman who is now 70 years old, she um, was taken away from her parents when she was five years old because they were not good to her. And she was put into a children's home, a home for children in England. And she proposed a dog. They had a dog in the children's home called Bella, Bella the dog. And she said that for her, Bella the dog gave her the love, uh, what we call in English, unconditional love. I love you because you're my child, whatever you do. The dog gave her that kind of love that she couldn't get from her parents. And also she couldn't get in the home from the, um, the workers there. They, they weren't unkind, but they didn't give her the kind of love that Bella the dog gave. So this is an object, it's an animal, and long de dead a long time. And I, I was surprised, but it was marvelous because people used their imagination and their creativity to tell, to propose an object, to tell the story of that object and why they proposed the object, how it connected them to social work. Um, and it's still open. The website is socialworkin40objects.com. We now have 150 objects on the site and um, I'm happy to receive some more. People need to give me, uh, digitally send me a photograph of the object, a photograph of themselves, their head, uh, a story about why they propose that object and their relationship to social work. Okay, sir. My next question is, uh, socialism and social work is same or different? It's different, but similar. <laughs> same, same, but different, I think Indians would say. It's, um, social work in, in my country is a profession and you can't call yourself a social worker unless you've gone through a training and have a qualification. However, I respect the use of the word social worker as it's used in India for people who are doing, um, doing social work. Um, you could be a conservative, a uh, right-wing person and a social worker, but I think it's hard because as soon as you get to know people's positions and the reasons why they are in the difficulties they are in. I think you have to start thinking about the social structures 
that make people in these put people in these positions so I think it's logical if you are a social worker to be a uh, to be socialist but of course not all socialists are social workers and uh, the more we can get socialists who are in business and in other parts of the economy but support equality the kind of values of socialism the better and the more powerful we will be and if I might also say we are more and more thinking I think about green issues so it's not just about the inequalities in society it's also about um, how to make the globe more equal and how not to exploit the resources so that we uh, so that our planet our earth is healthy for the generations after us i think that's now becoming as important as socialism okay sir uh, can you tell about your research work my research work um my research work has varied a lot um i've done research into group work i'm very interested in the way in which we um r relate to each other in groups um i'm very inter interested in international developments in social work and that's what's brought me to kolkata um, because I'm very interested in the science model, the science thinking of Torun and Sagarika, um, Bena Benaji, and I'm interested to think about how we can learn from what they're doing in Kolkata um, in the West, because the social work in the West has become very bureaucratic, very procedural, and what they're doing to me is, is true social work, it's the heart of social work. So I want the rest of the world to learn about this, and the current research is we are writing together um, a chapter um, that will appear in, in an international book. So the story of Kolkata will be known worldwide. And also we're working on a photo, possibly some kind of photo book with photographs of the uh, projects um, that um, Torun and Sagarika are involved in. Ami, Amar Shesh question Mark Doyle ke kutte chai bo. Sir, you travel India many times. Mm -hmm. So what you learn and what your message to Indian? Uh, what I like most is my contact with the Indian people. I find them to be very charming and friendly and uh, receptive and I, I enjoy my contact with Indians very very much. Um, I am full of admiration for the spirit of India. Um, the fact that there are not many resources but what resources there are are so well used. Um, I like the food of India too, um, the noise and the culture. Uh, the culture, um, and my message, I guess, is that uh, I, well, certainly, I feel a great hope for India's future because there is such good work being done, and I've had wonderful contact with young people, a uh, lot of young people in India, and um, I think if you talk with these young people and you see how they're dancing and singing and relating together in groups, you feel great confidence for India's future. Okay, sir. Thank you. Oshon ko dhunnobad Mark Doyle, amader Shine TV te shomai dawar jonno. Oshon ko dhunnobad.